Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Bite. I'm Corey Knockreiner. Today's story is about an old universal plug and play vulnerability affecting the Internet of Things. One of WatchGuard's partners, Trend Micro, released a blog post talking about some vulnerabilities, specifically a old universal plug and play vulnerability that's affecting tons of Internet of Things devices, many mobile devices and the mobile applications on these devices, as well as things like smart TVs and routers. Now, first of all, universal plug and play is kind of a standard that makes it it easier for devices to communicate with one another. It's often used by streaming video services. So for instance, your mobile device can easily find your video streaming application, whether that be a gaming console or a TV or whatever. In any case, there's many standard programming libraries that different developers use to deliver plug and play functionality. For instance, the portable SDK for universal plug and play devices, or libupnp, is one of those very common standards. And there's been vulnerability in this library before. In fact, there's a well-known old vulnerability from 2012 in the libupnp library, and this vulnerability can allow a remote code execution. In short, if you're uh, serving this universal plug-and-play service using this library, bad guys could leverage it to potentially gain full control of any device that uses it. Now, if this sounds familiar, in a old blog post, I talked about H.D. Moore, a well-known researcher who created Metasploit. He actually scanned the internet looking for vulnerable devices. And he warned about many, many different internet devices that had universal plug and play open. And many of those devices were vulnerable to this same vulnerability. And this is something he did about a year ago. Trend Micro's research is very similar, except they looked at very specific uh, devices like mobile devices and smart TVs. But they also looked at some of the applications running on mobile devices. And they found that hundreds of applications that run on Android devices actually actually use this vulnerable universal plug and play library and they haven't patched it since 2012 so they're vulnerable to this problem. In any case this is a pretty big deal and it's a common example of the type of issues with the Internet of Things. A lot of these Internet of Things devices are based on embedded Linux or Android which is basically a type of Linux and if you don't keep all the open source associated with Linux up to date you can have many different vulnerabilities on these devices and since people don't update firmware as often as they do their operating system, these vulnerabilities can live for a long time. So what can you do about this? Well, there's nothing you can do directly to fix this. It's really up to the software vendors to, to patch their firmware or to patch the mobile applications running on these devices. However, in the meantime, you can use things like firewalls to block universal plug and play, which is on port 1900. Now, of course, if these are cellular devices, it's a little harder. And the other thing is just to remain aware of these vulnerabilities. If you're using any apps on your mobile phone that have universal plug and play, you might want to consider disabling them until this is actually fixed. In any case, I'll put a link to my previous blog post, which has all kinds of tips on how you can avoid these universal plug and play issues. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.